Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. My name is Amanda McLaughlin. I'm here from CCS, and we're the company that installed the projector you see here today. Um, just to show of hands, how many people have actually used an interactive projector before? Okay, which projector? Oh, I don't know. Was it a smart projector or Epson or just it was some I, type I've of interaction? Done a Prometheum board, okay. And yeah. then the projector was yeah, like, like that perfect. little one, and maybe up but Something mounted, like but yeah. mounted. So it wasn't. I don't think it was Epson. Though. Okay. I don't know what the so you have some familiarity of interaction and mm -hmm. just yes. being hands on with things. Yes. Awesome. Well, today um, what you see here, this is in a whiteboard mode, um, and the pens that I asked you to bring, perfect, and your actual remotes. Um, will allow you just to get a more close-up view to what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. um, but first, I'm going to start in the actual annotation mode, which is just when you're starting, turning things on, I just want to make sure we're on the same page and making sure that we're aware of all the steps that need to be done. So just make sure you turn on your computer, log in. Um, Tara, if you have any other comments that you want to make specifically for them, just shout out whenever you want to, but um, just log in. Right, and, I, and I'm just going to say log in, and you'll notice on the bottom where the Wi-Fi signal is. Some of you, they have a blue cable that's plugged into it. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have that. You can sign into the Wi-Fi, okay? And the way you sign in is you connect to staff Wi-Fi. Side note, I can't get that out on my computer. Yeah. Ooh, it's stuck. Okay, I'll tell the tech when he comes around today, because it is. They're, 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 they've got a... Little. A kind of lock mechanism on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, but that just to log into the staff Wi-Fi, and then you use it comes up with a splash page when you open up the browser and you log in with the same login as you log into your computer. Okay, okay. your username and password, not your full email. All right. Good. Okay. And then you have the projector remote. So if you look at that, the uh, blue button allows you to then turn it on. Uh, it will power on, and then you will see then the screen that you see here on your computer. That should be the way it's So it up. should automatically come up. Connect. Correct. To yeah. that. But see the two cables in the faceplate below the yeah. whiteboard? Yeah. You have those. One's an HDMI. One is a USB cable. I don't have that in my room. Okay. I have something put there, but I don't have yeah. yeah, and he's supposed to come here and make sure they're all working, but those, are, those are the yeah. two that go in there. Because I've turned right? it on, uh -huh. and it works, but it's not hooked up to anything. That's, and that's okay. what those so tables are. So that'll make that connection happen. Okay, okay. good, good. Um, just a couple of things on the remote in general. There is a menu button, mm -hmm. and within that menu button, this allows you to just, you know, make sure everything is the way you would like it. Um, once everything is officially set up, and I know we're still in that process, um, you should see a nice, you know, rectangle screen here. Um, like when I came in, the keystone was off a little bit. But for some reason, after the fact, it still isn't um, the way you'd like it. Here in that menu gives you that capability of going through the image or the different settings. Um, but other than that, you really shouldn't have to explore here. Once everything is officially set up, you shouldn't have to go in there. Um, for this interactive projector, it's really nice. There's no calibration that you really have to spend time going through. Um, but for some reason, if you notice that it is off, just by over time you're using it, it's gradually getting off. In that menu option under the extended menu, you have an easy interactive function option. And when I select that by just pressing that middle button, you can see at that first option is the auto calibration. So if you select that, it'll walk you through the prompt and telling you just to wait a second, allow for it to do that auto calibration, and then you'll be good to go. So I just like to point that out, uh, just so you're not left <laughs> in the waters, that you can be self-sufficient and uh, accomplish that very quickly. Now, when you open up everything, most likely you will not see these tools or this bar up here, just because you do need to launch these tools. And those tools can be launched in your startup menu. And so when you're in your startup menu, and uh, I'm a mouse now, so make sure you're in a mouse, but first when you start up, you'll look for that easy interactive tools, version 3.0. So when you are first starting up, if there is not a shortcut on your desktop, then uh, this is how you would then find that. Is that in here? No. That's, uh, just, no. that's just it's on your just computer. Kinda, yeah, just on your computer, just a normal, you know, starting your day, just making sure um, you know how to find the tools that are going to be 
utilized with this interactive projector. And I don't know, when should we, ex do you know when we should expect to have all this? So if He's something- supposed to finish it today. Okay, so let's say by the end of the week, if we're yeah, missing I'd something. Say by the end of the day. By the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Or tomorrow. Let's tomorrow, okay. Mm -hmm. You think you're ready to go? Okay. Yeah, That's good and he'll be around today, but he's gonna well, go to he, each room. Just to okay. double check. He came yeah. in and showed me the square. Yeah, he was just okay. setting up the wireless connections okay. oh, yesterday. Okay. okay. I mean, they, one one of the cables, they, they sent the wrong USB cable, so I had to get them just okay. resend them, and I came yesterday like late. Oh, and this is magnetic. So yes. yes. Oh, cool. All right. Yes. Yeah, so your pens will reside right here in their little home. So please put them here. Don't walk out of the room with them or <laughs> give them to a student. <laughs> they will form legs and, and lock you have a charger yes. that's plugged in. Oh, okay. So your pens may. The batteries may be sitting in there. You may right. have to okay. open it up and, and place them in the okay. pen. Okay. They're, they should be charged well by now. And those battery, okay, just for the pins or is that for all of the? Um, the just, remotes should have their yeah, batteries the in them already. Are, are if they don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, when you just simply come into the view of the projector, projector that image, You'll see, as I'm hovering over, you can see then my cursor following me. That's that indication that, okay, one, yes, the batteries are in there, they're charged, and now there is that interaction happening. I have no battery. Me neither. Okay. In your remote? No. Yeah, no you battery. Said I have. No, your pens, yeah. Yeah, my so, pens. So, Look on I'm your sorry, wall that's, or yeah. find No, you know what it is? Card. <laughs> they're in their room, plugged in. What room numbers are? Go get them. Well, she has hers. I'm oh. 107. 107? I think, uh, I think he tested mine. Okay. I'm 105. Okay. I think. 105 and 107. Yes, it's good. Okay. I, yes. I didn't have a chance to try. Oh, that's okay. So when we're in here, this is that annotation mode, this one monitor. Uh -huh. And even though you have your cheat sheets here, I'll be emailing Tara about a 27-page overview. Uh, okay. So it's really going to go in-depth on all the tools um, that we covered today and more. So if you are that ambitious, you know, or you're just ready to go and learn more, it'll give you that space and that option to expand. So here, this menu and then this side panel menu, these will then launch into that view when you activate and open those easy interactive tools. So these are what you're then launching. Now, like I said, you could put a shortcut on your desktop um, and then these would just automatically start with your computer. You don't have to have that toolbar on one side. You can put it in the middle, you can have it over here, but that grip bar in the top and lower corner allows you to move it and make it you know, your unique spot in your classroom. Now, in this mode, do you have curriculum access um, online? Do you have worksheets or or any I don't content online that you use? I don't right now. Uh, I think we're supposed to. Okay. Right? So you yeah, we, we have we don't, we don't have our, the access codes. I don't think to help the plenty. Oh, what? But we do for curriculum online. Do we online. have the online stuff yet? Do you know? They don't have oh, access no. yet. I, I don't. Somebody's going to be here today. We'll find out. Okay. Somebody from yeah. going to be from CSA yeah, in, with curriculum. Yeah, definitely ask because um, you want to access that. Yeah. Right. No, no, right. And there's a, a web page you should be able to access. I don't. I don't know well, much think, about it. Just um, okay. Think yeah. Central is. Think Central? Any, think uh, Central is our, I think all of our curriculum. Goes, okay. It's all Hope Mifflin. Okay. I think it's all on, I know that Science Fusion and Journeys, as I used that last year, right. is all on Think, think Central. Central. Okay. I've okay. never used Math Connects, but I'm guessing it's Hope Mifflin, so I'm guessing that's probably on Think Central too. Okay. 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 So once Wonderful. I think we get that, then we have access to all the online. Right, stuff. right. So, so you don't have logins is what you have. Correct. You can get to the page, right. but you don't have a login. Correct. Okay. We okay. have like an evaluator's copy or something? Yeah, that okay. we're able just to kind of go through, but I All right. don't know if we're really able so to use. Just for the purpose of, you know, just saying this is your Think Central page, I just want to show you these tools float over other applications. So having that access online to the curriculum, you can then come over here if I need to highlight something or mm -hmm. I want to draw your attention, you know, to, let me, I could do a thick pen, I can do a, a lower, um, a thinner pen, whatever it may be, I can draw your attention to something because I can draw on this live website. So it's really nice that you can be in the moment but also add the content to it at the same time. And also, it's in a way where it's not going to erase if I accidentally rub it or touch it because it's digital. So it's all captured in that one platform. 
Now, if I go back to being a mouse, you have different uh, undo buttons, which will be your best friend if you accidentally erase something. Uh, this is your text, so I'll show you more of those features when we're in the software. Um, but you have your cursor, so a cursor versus a mouse. Yeah. Cursor is when you want to maybe scroll or move things, but a mouse will then give you full functionality, kind of acting like as if you were back on the computer. So clicking something, you want to then advance pages, things like that. All of these other extend arrows means there's other things to hide. You know, there's other things to explore that are hidden. So you have your line thickness, all your color options. And this is that pen, and then you have your highlighter options as well. Um, the little circle, that means it's that thin pen, and then the thicker is to the right. You have erasing capability, so I can be a small eraser and start erasing. Um, but I also have um, the capability when I want to go back, just to be a mouse here, go back, I can capture something. And so now it went from that free mode into another dimension, allowing me to then layer options. So um, I'll show you that again in a second. But to clear the page all at once, I have a clean options. So I can just clear everything at once. Um, and it's nice, it, it asks me, because if I accidentally hit that, I'm like, wait, I don't want that. It gives you, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And then it will take whatever that was in that layer away. Now, when I go back to my computer mode, that was in your picture mode, now in your pen mode PC, there's different modes, you'll just get used to it as you play with it. Um, but what I wanna show you is when you are a mouse again, like I said, you know, you can move those toolbars to go from one side or to the next, so you're not limited just to this side, you can walk on that side. Um, but you also have that little arrow over here, which will then allow the menu to simply uh, pop up over on this side. So I can be here, or I could pop it up back on this side right here. Now, the toolbar up top, a lot of times, you know, that might be a little too high. That's okay. You can bring it down to the level for you or the students. So it's an easier reach, because right now, even with this table, it's a reach just to begin with. So it's nice you can bring that toolbar down to the level. Um, over here, when we go into now our whiteboard mode, this is where we started. Um, in this mode, it's just your whiteboard space. So this is really nice. Um, I was curious one day, and I just kept hitting add new page, which is up here. So if I go to my page list, you can see the pages that I was practicing and just adding. So if I just wanted to add pages and say I wanted this to stay open, just make sure you hit the little pin right here and now that will keep it open and then I can still work over here. So if you want to keep it open to reference, you can still see both. Uh, but I was curious one day, I just spent like five minutes hitting add new page, add new page. Added over 2,000 pages. You can add as many as you want. So <laughs> you just know you have unlimited whiteboard space. Grant, the file will be huge, but just know you have that capability of that endless digital capturing. And then they, you can, I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> you can save, you can save yes. it, right? So yes. like if I was doing a writing piece on this and I had different, you know, planning and everything, yes. you can save so it. So okay. right here. Yep. So cool. that old-fashioned disc. So like, you have an erase and <laughs> no, no. no, you can awesome. always save, okay. and you get to choose where you want to save it. So it's a save yeah. that. So it's yeah. not like, okay, where'd that go? <laughs> you know where it's going to be going. Now, at this point, I just want to have you come up. Um, hope, well, we might have to borrow my pens, which is perfectly fine, because I don't know if they're charged or not. Um, but I just wanted you to come up and practice just activating a pen, writing your name, and then erasing it. And two people can actually engage at the same time. So, um, yeah. So the, I think there's. Did you put the batteries in? Oh. Oh. I have one. Okay. Here. Oh, okay. 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 Um, just I press and hold, and but oh, it's and going, hold, yeah, doing, and it. then it'll turn green, and then as you approach the projector, then that's where the sensor is as far as 
um, allowing everything. Yeah. And then you're good to go. Oh, it's working. Nice. Good. And your handwriting, you know, will get better, obviously, but that that's good. And there's a neat function that if you want it when you go to save it, like you, the text option, you know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That I can write at the same time. That's our. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. See, I've never had the dual pens before. Which is really <laughs> neat. Aww. Wow. Good. That one's a highlighter. Oops. No, it's okay. Click the arrow down. The drop down. Yeah. The color. There you go. Whoop. Good. Their handwriting's definitely better than mine on the board. <laughs> or you're going to be writing in Magic Ink all day long and you're like, where did this ink come from? Um, when you select an object, you'll see there's a dotted frame that appears. Mm -hmm. The corners allow you to resize so you can mm -hmm. yeah. really shrink or really grow that object. The top allows rotation. And then in the bottom corner, sometimes it's overlooked, but you have other options to explore. Awesome. So I can duplicate this. So instead of copy and then paste, it's that one, it's a clone. You know, you really duplicate it really quickly. You have a copy, you do have a paste, there's an ungroup, so you can group things together. So that's more advanced, you know, being able to just move things as one. Um, you can bring things to the front or back, so similar to PowerPoint and Microsoft. So that's what's really nice about this software is that the terminology is very similar to what you're already used to using. Um, and then you also have your delete option. Now, in the actual page here, um, you'll see it gives you the number of what page you're on, five of five. Um, but notice I can't see my top row anymore. Um, as you start annotating in the workspace, that will disappear, but to get it back, you just hit that sidebar, and then you'll notice everything comes back into view. So don't fret, it's still there. Um, it just hides while you're using the workspace, so it maximizes your view for you. And remember, the reason why this is staying open and visible, you have it locked. Exactly, we have it pinned. Now, over here, we have our home button, we have uh, adding a folder, saving, this is that option to view the pages. We have adding a new page, um, deleting a page. These arrows, when you go up and down, just allow you to, you know, go forward and backward within your presentation. The little toolbox here has other options that you want to explore. Um, so you have, I love this one, this is your spotlight. So you can really now, you know, just what you need to focus on. <laughs> um, and you can enlarge or resize that spotlight. I'm just grabbing it in that perimeter, that border. And then as I move the spotlight, I'm grabbing it in the darkened area. So to move the spotlight, you grab it in the darkened area. And then to resize, grab it. Yes, that gray border. Now also, 
The only way to get rid of it, you have to hit the X in that corner, and then you're back to that page. Remember, hit the arrow on the side, and then you have those other tools to explore. This is a rather new one. It casts the appearance that nothing's here, but if you grab either of the, cor either of the sides, this is now a screen shade that allows you as the teacher, I love this, to slowly reveal content at your pace. Wow. So you could have it all yes. right there. And you could have it all ready. So, you have yeah. your at your page, and Kids then you just slowly like, reveal. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really nice because, you know, I can now be like, okay, copy the first two bullet points, pens down, let's discuss, let's debate about it. Um, instead of revealing everything and then I remember when I was in grade school you know you're just writing and not even listening and then your hands cramped and you're like okay I don't even know what just happened so now it allows you as the teacher to really delegate what's going to be seen when um, are you do you do the projector and stuff too or the document camera that's what I meant yeah. yes <laughs> okay. um, yes and I'm just if you'll um, oh yeah, we yeah. only have just 10 minutes I just want to make sure you can show us how to like switch back and forth between each definitely okay so Sorry. in next to the tools uh -huh. is right here. So when I hit that option, and it actually selects, um, here we go. Okay. So now, you know, this is that that's live on. mode. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. You okay. have recording options. It won't record your voice, but you can record, you know, if you were just kind of slowly, uh -huh. you know, if you wanted to kind of get just capture everything. Um, you can enlarge the screen. Um, there are different tools and settings that you can brighten the image. And this is the cable that makes it interactive. There you go. Okay. And that's one. really it's important. It's like that a USB printer cable, okay? Okay. So that white USB is and very just, important. And does it have to be in a certain, like the document camera, you just turn it on? Is there like a certain mode? Or there anything? is a power button. So if you go to, if you want to come here, just so you can see it, um, it's really big. So this, <laughs> this <laughs> button right here, <laughs> this is that power button. Make sure it's on. And then the source, you just want to make sure that it's lit up for that document camera option. Other than that, it's ready to go once you have that USB connection. It's will control the mode. Correct. Okay. Right. But if for some reason you you know you want to be hands on here, you mm -hmm. still have the capability of doing the focus, the zoom. You know you have right. menu options here. Recording. Exactly. Okay. All right here as well. So depending on where this, this is, this is a, located. This is still image. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then this is that, the, it looks like a little video recording. And then that would be the same I would take a picture of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to try anything with the camera? Do you want to get hands on with that, you know, for the last segment of this? Just um, to try I, something? I just want to make sure, just because I've Okay, I'm going to X out of work. this, and I want you to I just want to make sure to I know how to... Go back, go back and forth to each yeah. thing. Yes. Okay. So you're in your workspace I'm in now. My, and, okay. So if I want to show, bring up what's on the computer, I go yeah, here. Correct. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, if I want now, I cannot access, access the document camera. Correct. Right you have to be in the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. In the whiteboard. Yep. So if I want to go to button. the document camera, mm -hmm. go back to the whiteboard, and, and it'll take me uh -huh. to the camera. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and is there? There's no way to make this larger. Yes, um, in that correct. You see it. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. And then those still, yeah, those menu options are still right there. So you can still record. You can still capture. Um, okay. And you have that capability of you know accessing everything right then and there, hands on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? I mean, that was just my biggest Yeah, is no, being definitely. Able to go back to know where each thing is. The only is. thing it was like you um, did like the layers. What did you mean by layers? Like so, I, for I example, on the web page. Well, um, so I have this option here. Yeah. When I select this and I can resize it, um, when I want to move it, notice how it's on top of the blue option. Uh -huh. When you're building content, when you're at that level where you're going to start building your own lessons, okay, it's just part of that building. I want to send it to the back. So now this option is going to be behind the blue. Um, the blue's on top, as you can see. Yeah. So it's just about layering. And if you're used to like the smart board um, in the notebook software, it's the same work uh, terminology, same layering. Okay. Um, so just be aware of that um, if you're creating. Um, but 
That's just kind of, yeah. Um, that's and then my head. other question, is there a way to use the computer while, like if I have well, students you, using the board? Right. There is a freeze option on the remote. Okay. So you have your AV mute option, which gives the illusion that it's off. Mm -hmm. Don't mistake it for being off. It AV just mute. gives oh, that AV illusion. Mute. Okay. So it gives that, hey, attention needs to yeah. come back on me as the teacher right now. Stop it's being distracted from behind me. Okay. But really, you know, it's still don't off. leave at the end of the day when right. this is still running. This right. is just a temporary thing. And okay. you can even see there's still yeah. a black light. You know, that's all it is. Okay. And so now I hear you're back in mode. But that eliminates shutting it down right. and then quickly turning it back it's on just again. for a couple minutes. Exactly. Because there is that warm up it's, and cool yeah. down process that um, you want to be aware of as well. And then the freeze option, which is in the lower right corner, mm -hmm. that allows me to freeze this image. So if the kids need to see, you know, this worksheet, they're working independently, but then I need to come over here and now I'm going to X out of this and, you know, you can attest to this right now. Okay. You know, I'm doing other things. Right, but they can't. Exactly. They can't work on the board. So look, I'm on Google right now and yeah. it's up here. Yeah, they can't work on it because once I unfreeze it, then look, here it is to okay. where I was here. Okay. So if you're checking email or doing grades over here, uh -huh. just make sure you get back to what they're seeing before you unfreeze it. Okay. So then it's not like, whoa, what did I just see? Or, you know, so you got to be aware right. of what you do, but right. you do have that option okay. to multitask, you know, if you want them to be focused on something or you're doing something else Is there over a here. reason that I have two? Yes, one's for the document the, camera. That one's strictly yeah. for the document camera. Yeah. Okay. And then the save function, just to go through it oh, with yeah. them. And then when you're in, I X out of everything, didn't I? I did. So when I am on the Easy Interactive tools, if I just want to open up um, a new, that's a menu that will come up as well, just a new. When I come up here to my save option, you have a save as option. And that'll then, like I was yeah. telling you, you know. And you, you can, can name it. Through. Right. So you can change the name. Um, you have this file type here. But this gives you that capability of really choosing, you know, where you want it. Especially, do you have a server that everybody has access we, to? We do, and I was going to talk to them about that. Because um, then you can share we content. We can maybe put or, uh, a folder on there that's yeah. curriculum I'll or something. Ask you too. Yeah. 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 Where should we save? Under... Under For libraries, ourselves? under libraries. Just in documents? Yes. Um, okay. Your profile uh, is, is is what's called a roaming profile. Okay. So, so wherever we log yes. on. Yes. So that's we'll not actually, okay. the documents are under your profile. So that's okay. the recommended folder would be under documents, under libraries. And then we can libraries. make our own folders however Correct. we want. Okay. Exactly. And now there is a, an S drive under computer. Uh -huh. Click on it and see if, okay. Um, uh, so they're not it's not showing um, well we're under a student oh that's right and that's why yes. there you go <laughs> but under yours there should there's an, a shared folder and, that's and okay. the Perfect. only thing is we don't want that to be expanded so there's a format that we'd like to follow I'll talk to guy about okay, it and, so and we'll put something our stuff on our mm -hmm. for now. but it's an easy way to share information okay through that shared and then folder. If, um, I know when we did Promethean board, there was like Promethean Planet to like get ideas. Is this mm -hmm. considered a smart board? No, um, this is F and interactive. Yeah. Okay. But I'll be emailing um, Tara. Has it's over twenty pages of in depth things that you can do additionally to what you know the very basic we just covered right so now. So like on Teachers Pay Teachers, if we buy something, is mm -hmm. there well, it would have to be an Epson interactive like. Tool. There is a yeah. software we're looking into purchasing. Um, there's different ways yeah, there's, to Yeah, there's yeah, different accomplish. ones. Um, yeah. Okay. But we'll talk about Think Central. I just asked somebody, um, I have information for you. Awesome. On who to contact. Perfect. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah, because okay. we used to get like Promethean Planet. Right. Mm -hmm. have stuff already done. Yeah. Or are on Teachers Pay Teachers, we could buy right. different units already. Right. So is it uh, like so agnostic? You is, know, is the, right. Yeah, there's some things out there, but there's not really a database 
made right yet okay. um, because it is so new. new. Okay. Right. Um, but you can add yes. um, clip art and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And if you honestly, if you go to Pinterest, there's a lot okay. for interactive well, that's boards what I, for education. Right. Even just Googling, like, or YouTube, like, even quick little tutorial how to do videos, it. like, how yeah. to. I'm on YouTube, so, right. yeah, okay. there's so Something many little mail, things. Interactive. Yes, exactly. Game, mm -hmm. Not games, but interactive. And remember, anything you can problems. run on this computer, you can run up there. Right. Mm -hmm. This is right. the brains of the operation, you right. know. So, especially think central. You know, if you had that curriculum online, correct. You know, that's that. that, and that yeah. yeah. In of we itself, we were under the impression that yeah. we were going to have our text. Right. Oh, yeah, that's all on like think, journeys think, and all that. That's all on yeah. Think Central. Yeah. yeah. So everything once you get you that, ever but we're just need is like on the evaluator right now, so we can't right. do everything. Right. But okay. she's gonna talk yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah. And then that. um, whatever questions you have, like I said, one more month on a teacher work day, the twenty third of October. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just like ah. absolutely not. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just that I'm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> there, there, <laughs> information will be sent to you. No, okay. um, no, no. But I want to say that that um, you know she's going to send you the information, <coughs> and I'll forward it to, to Guy. Okay. We'll put it on your server so that you have it. Okay. But that any questions you have, keep keep you know keep them keep track of them, and she'll be back. Okay. In, in, in a month. Yeah. And okay. And really everybody's our... going to be here as a group. So yeah. this is smaller okay. sessions right okay. now. So okay. So we'll have all our, yeah. you know, play and right. get hands on. It. Right. And it's a learning curve, but it's a curve worth learning. You know, okay. you want to take that one step at a time, get hands on with it, learn a couple new tools each week, try and implement it, get the kids up here, even if it's just as, as simple yeah. of, you know, they're just moving one object from one side of the board to the next, or they're just writing their name on the board. You know, we have to go. So okay. You know, it's okay. And I want to come to um, your...